We are doing part two of 3.2. So we left off on example five. Graph y plus three equals one third x minus six. This is the one I want to do in class. Okay. So your first step is the distributive property. We want to clean this up a little bit in order to be able to graph it. So one third times x is one third x. And then one third times negative six is negative six thirds. Wait a minute, Miss Thomas, where you get that from? Hold on. Okay, you're doing your what's one? You're doing your one time tables. One times a negative six is what? Negative six, and bring down your three. This is equivalent to having six over one. Remember, one times six is six. Three times one is three. Okay. All right. Negative six divided by three, and your calculator is gonna kick you out a negative two. So I just brought down my y plus 3 equals 1 third x from the distributive property minus 2. Well, now I want 3 over here underneath the negative 2. So I need to do the inverse of the opposite. So I have the opposite or the inverse of a positive 3 is a negative 3. So here, negative 2 minus 3 in my calculator gave me negative 5. Well, this is my y-intercept and this is where I want you to start. So here I come over here to my y-axis, my y-intercept, and I go down to the negative 5. This one-third is my rise over my run. So I'm going to rise up one, and I'm going to run three times. So rise up one, and run one, two, and three, and then connect your line. Okay. Well, if you want to do the intercept method, and you did not want to uh, do the slope intercept form or you didn't want to do the x and y table here's an easier x and y table called intercept method well in the, the example six i gave you three x plus two y equals six so here what i did was i have x and y table okay and maybe you didn't want to do negative one zero and one you can do what they call intercepts. The x-intercept, I'm going to plug in 0 and find out what y is. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to plug in a 0 in for the y and see what that comes out to be. And then I'm going to graph the point. Okay? So here, I just substituted in. So this is what the original. I took 0 and plugged it in right here. 3 times 0 is 0. Plus 2y equals 6. Brought down my 2y, brought down my equal sign, I brought down my 6. I moved 0 over here to the right-hand side. A negative 0, negative 0. Even if it was positive 0, positive 0, you will still get 6. Divided both sides by 2. 6 divided by 2 gave me 3. Okay, simple as that. Okay, well, let next, instead of plugging 0 here, let's plug 0 here and see what we get. All right, so we're going to substitute it in here. Okay, so I left 3x alone. I'm going to plug it in right here. 2 times 0 is 0 equals 6. I just brought everything down. Subtract 0 from both sides. 6 minus 0 is 6. Bring down your 3x. Divide both sides by 3 and you have 2. Now you come over here, you just graph your two points. All right, 0, 3. So if I make 0 means the elevator doesn't slide, it goes up 1, 2, 3. Here, the first number tells me to slide, remember? The second number tells you whether you should go up or down. Well, I can slide, but I can't move. All right, so I can slide over two, but I can't go up or down. And these are your two points. So you have your intercept form. You have the y equals mx plus b, which is called slope intercept form. Or you can use your table, okay? Either or, okay? Just some notes, just in case you need to go over those and look at those one more time. Okay, this was on using the slope-intercept form of a line. Exercises 2 and 3, examples 2 and 3. This is example 4 we did in part 1, where we're doing the distributive property. And also, I did the table, just in case you needed to see the table and what y equals mx plus b looks like. So, any form that you want to do is fine with me, as long as you learn.